is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. In this video, I want to share with you how to customize this set of lovely fall flourish coloring journal created by Charlene. Okay, so, well, in all honesty, the graphics are already so pretty. There is, it's going to be really hard for us to make changes to the graphics. But what I would like to do is to, since this is a 30-day gratitude journal, what I'd like to do is to add in gratitude journal prompts to each of these pages to make it even more valuable. Okay, and we're going to, well, call out ChatGPT to help us. It's gonna be super fun and easy and fast. All right, so let's just head over. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, let's go to file and make a copy. Okay, usually when you open up a Canva template, it will automatically be saved inside your Canva dashboard. I like to have a copy that is in its original design that is not touched at all. So before I start to create my own iteration of it, I would usually go to file and make a copy. So this is what I've done. Now let's head to chat GPT. And well, you could be even more familiar with me than uh, you could be more familiar with chat, G chat GPT than me. But anyway, it's super simple. We're just going to say, uh, well, give me prompts. Give me 30 days of journal prompts for a gratitude journal. All right, and then just give it a few moments. There we go. This is super fast and easy. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and paste it over. Okay, so while ChatGPT is doing its magic, let's come here to page two and hit T on the keyboard. And here we have the text box appearing. So here I'm gonna set it as size 18 and I'm gonna stretch out the text box until the edge or the width of the header as well. So then, why am I doing this? So that when I, when I actually put in the text, it will not, hopefully it will not exceed that. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to do this. Okay, day one. Ctrl C to copy, double click here, Ctrl V to paste, that's it. Okay, now I feel like there could be too little space for people to write, so perhaps I would change it to size 14 instead or maybe size 12 i think this is still fine right when you're printing it out size 12 isn't that small so ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste the text box here and then we're going to proceed to copy and paste that all right and same thing okay continue to duplicate this and this is just repetitive that's all there is here okay we're just doing this it's super easy but we're actually making our gratitude journal more unique because now we're going to add the journal prompts right so in all honesty this is already it that is the main thing of this particular lesson you know just to give you ideas on how you can actually change things up because sometimes i don't really like to make too many changes to the canva template right because somebody else has already done the hard work of creating the designs, thinking about the layout, you know, so the whole idea of using a template is to make life easier for me, right? So I want to make sure that I'm using it uh, as fast as possible. I'm creating a new product as fast as possible. So minimal changes, but maximum results. So this is how I feel it could be helpful. Okay, let's just delete that. Nope, I don't want the bullets, I don't know why the bullets suddenly appear. Okay, so I'm just really just copying and pasting it. I actually don't like to as much as possible. Okay, if I if I know that this is not gonna take too long. Okay, but but yeah, this is basically it. Okay, so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to complete the whole 30 day and then I will have to download this, all right? So you know what I'm doing right now, right? I'm just copying the text boxes, pasting it on every page, and I'm going to chat GPT to find the right prompt, prompt, and pasting it in here. Okay, so it's super simple, it's just tedious, it's just repetitive, but that's all that there is to this, okay? So I'm gonna stop here because you already know the gist of it. 
and what I want to do is I want to then download this okay so imagine I've already done with all the filling up of the prompts and I'm ready to use this as my final product and then I am going to just rename it and download it okay so go to file sorry go to share click on download and I'm gonna share this as a PDF file right because I'm selling it as a printable journal so people will receive it in a PDF format I would usually save it in PDF standard because it helps to reduce the file size keep it lightweight and yet because it's a US letter file size um, US letter template or size you know it doesn't have to be really really high in resolution so I'll keep it that way um, if you want to flatten PDF, it will be recommended. As long as there are no hyperlinks inside your project, you should ideally flatten the PDF. If there are hyperlinks in your project and you're going to deliver this as a digital planner with hyperlinked tabs, then don't flatten the PDF because flattening the PDF will remove the hyperlinks. In this particular case, there's no hyperlinks. I'm going to flatten it. Flattening it basically just kind of protects your document better so that people cannot re-import that PDF file onto Canva and then like kind of take apart the elements okay so I'm gonna flatten it here and I'm gonna click on download and that will be the final PDF version that I will sell to my customers okay meanwhile um, now the other thing is when it comes to product banners in the next lesson I'm not sure how you're watching in what sequence but I'm also gonna make use of um, our contributors mock-up banners okay somebody contributed some lovely mock-up banners I'm gonna use this particular product so here I'm gonna to go to share and click on download and use it as PNG and I don't have to download everything I just perhaps just select the first eight pages okay and that's it this is going to help me create my product banner and I'm gonna click done so keep a look out hopefully you get to watch all the videos that we have for you inside this treasure box for Canva template so that you can really pick up different tips uh, and ideas for all the different sets of Canva templates included inside our treasure box Thank you so much for your kind attention and I will see you in the next lesson.